ऑडियो बुक साइंस क्लास एट पेज सेवेंटीन चैप्टर टू माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स फ्रेंड एंड फो यू हैव सीन सेवरल काइंड ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स हाउ एवर देर आर अदर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स अराउंड अस विच वी नॉर्मली कैनॉट सी दीज आर कॉल्ड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स और माइक्रोब्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू माइट हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट ड्यूरिंग द रेनी सीजन मॉइस्ट ब्रेड गेट्स स्पॉइल्ड एंड इट्स सर्फेस गेट्स कवर्ड विद ग्रेश वाइट पैचेस ऑब्जर्व दीज पैचेस थ्रू अ मैग्निफाइंग ग्लास यू विल सी टाइनी ब्लैक राउंडेड स्ट्रक्चर्स डू यू नो वॉट दीज स्ट्रक्चर्स आर एंड वे डू दीज कम फ्रॉम 2.1 पॉइंट वन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एक्टिविटी टू पॉइंट वन कलेक्ट सम मॉइस्ट सॉयल फ्रॉम द फील्ड इन अ बीकर एंड एड वॉटर टू इट आफ्टर द सॉयल पार्टिकल्स हैव सेटल डाउन ऑब्जर्व अ ड्रॉप ऑफ वॉटर फ्रॉम द बीकर अंडर अ माइक्रोस्कोप वॉट डू यू सी एक्टिविटी टू पॉइंट टू टेक अ फ्यू ड्रॉप्स ऑफ वॉटर फ्रॉम अ पॉन्ड spread on a glass slide and observe through a microscope do you find tiny organisms moving around these observations show that water and soil are full of tiny organisms though not all of them fall into the category of microbes these microorganisms or microbes are so small in size that they cannot be seen with the unaided eye some of these such as the fungus that grows on bread can be seen with a magnifying glass others cannot be seen without the help of a microscope that is why these are called microorganisms or microbes microorganisms are classified into four major groups these groups are bacteria fungi protozoa and some algae Some of these common microorganisms are shown in figures 2.1 to 2.4. Viruses are also microscopic but are different from other microorganisms. They however reproduce only inside the cells of the host organism which may be a bacterium, plant or animal. Some of the viruses are shown in figure 2.5. common ailments like cold influenza flu and most coughs are caused by viruses serious diseases like polio and chickenpox are also caused by viruses diseases like dysentery and malaria are caused by protozoa protozoans whereas typhoid and tuberculosis tb are bacterial diseases You have learnt about some of these microorganisms in classes six and seven. Page eighteen. Figure two point one shows bacteria. In figure two point one, you can see how bacteria look. Figure two point two, algae. Two types of algae can be seen. First is Chlamydomonas, and second is Spirogyra. Figure two point three shows protozoa. First one is amoeba, and second is paramecium. Figure two point four shows fungi. The first one being bread mold. Second is penicillium, and the third is aspergillus. Page nineteen. Figure two point five shows viruses. Two point two. Where do microorganisms live? Microorganisms may be single-celled like bacteria, some algae and protozoa or multicellular such as many algae and fungi. They live in all types of environment, ranging from ice-cold climate to hot springs and deserts to marshy lands. They are also found inside the bodies of animals including humans. Some microorganisms grow on other organisms while others exist freely. 2.3 Microorganisms and us. Microorganisms play an important role in our lives. 
some of them are beneficial in many ways, whereas some others are harmful and cause diseases. Let us study about them in detail. Friendly Microorganisms Microorganisms are used for various purposes. They are used in the preparation of curd, bread and cake. Microorganisms have been used for the production of alcohol since ages. They are also used in cleaning up of the environment. For example, the organic wastes, vegetable peels, remains of animals, feces, etc. are broken down into harmless and usable substances by bacteria. Recall that bacteria are also used in the preparation of medicines. In agriculture, they are used to increase soil fertility by fixing nitrogen. Making of curd and bread You have learnt in class 7 that milk is turned into curd by bacteria. Paheli remembers, I saw that my mother added a little curd to warm milk to set curd for the next day. I wonder why. Curd contains several microorganisms. Of these, the bacterium Lactobacillus promotes the formation of curd. It multiplies in milk and converts it into curd. Bacteria are also involved in the making of cheese, pickles and many other food items. An important ingredient of rava, suji idlis and bhaturas is curd. Can you guess why? Bacteria and yeast are also helpful for fermentation of rice idlis and dosa batter. Page 20 Activity 2.3 Take half kg flour, atta or maida, add some sugar and mix with warm water. Add a small amount of yeast powder and knead to make a soft dough. What do you observe after 2 hours? Did you find the dough rising? Figure 2.6 shows First, maida with yeast powder Then, raised maida Yeast reproduces rapidly and produces carbon dioxide during respiration. Bubbles of the gas fill the dough and increase its volume as shown in figure 2.6. This is the basis of the use of yeast in the baking industry for making breads, pastries and cakes. Commercial use of microorganisms Microorganisms are used for the large-scale production of alcohol, wine and acetic acid, vinegar. Yeast is used for commercial production of alcohol and wine. For this purpose, yeast is grown on natural sugars present in grains like barley, wheat, rice, crushed fruit juices, etc. Activity 2.4 Take a 500 ml beaker filled up to 3 fourth with water. Dissolve 2 to 3 teaspoons of sugar in it. Add half a spoon of yeast powder to the sugar solution. Keep it covered in a warm place for 4 to 5 hours. Now smell the solution. Can you get a smell? This is the smell of alcohol as sugar has been converted into alcohol by yeast. This process of conversion of sugar into alcohol is known as fermentation. Louis Pasteur discovered fermentation in 1857. Medicinal use of microorganisms Whenever you fall ill, the doctor may give you some antibiotic tablets, capsules or injections such as of penicillin. The source of these medicines is microorganisms. These medicines kill or stop the growth of the disease-causing microorganisms. Such medicines are called antibiotics. These days, a number of antibiotics are being produced from bacteria and fungi. Streptomycin, tetracycline and erythromycin are some of the commonly known antibiotics which are made from fungi and bacteria. In 1929, Alexander Fleming was working on a culture of disease-causing bacteria. Suddenly, he found the spores of a little green mold in one of his culture plates. 
he observed that the presence of mold prevented the growth of bacteria. In fact, it also killed many of these bacteria. From this, the mold penicillin was prepared. Page 21 The antibiotics are manufactured by growing specific microorganisms and are used to cure a variety of diseases. Antibiotics are even mixed with the feed of livestock and poultry to check microbial infection in animals. They are also used to control many plant diseases. It is important to remember that antibiotics should be taken only on the advice of a qualified doctor. Also, you must complete the course prescribed by the doctor. If you take antibiotics when not needed or in wrong doses, it may make the drug less effective when you might need it in future. Also, antibiotics taken unnecessarily may kill the beneficial bacteria in the body. Antibiotics, however, are not effective against cold and flu as these are caused by viruses. Vaccine Paheli wondered, Why are children or infants given vaccination? When a disease-carrying microbe enters our body, the body produces antibodies to fight the invader. The body also remembers how to fight the microbe if it enters again. If dead or weakened microbes are introduced into a healthy body, the body fights and kills the invading bacteria by producing suitable antibodies. The antibodies remain in the body and we are protected from the disease-causing microbes forever. This is how a vaccine works. Several diseases, including cholera, tuberculosis, smallpox and hepatitis can be prevented by vaccination. Edward Jenner discovered the vaccine for smallpox in 1798. In your childhood, you must have been given injections to protect yourself against several diseases. Can you prepare a list of these diseases? You may take help from your parents. It is essential to protect all children against these diseases. Necessary vaccines are available in the nearby hospitals. You might have seen the advertisement on TV and newspapers regarding protection of children against polio under the Pulse Polio program. Polio drops given to children are actually a vaccine. A worldwide campaign against smallpox has finally led to its eradication from most parts of the world. These days, vaccines are made on a large scale from microorganisms to protect humans and other animals from several diseases. Increasing Soil Fertility Some bacteria, as shown in figure 2.7, are able to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere to enrich soil with nitrogen and increase its fertility. These microbes are commonly called biological nitrogen fixers. Page 22 Figure 2.7 It shows the nitrogen-fixing cyanobacteria, blue-green algae, cleaning the environment. Bujo and Paheli had observed the school gardener making manure. Along with their friends, they collected wastes of plants, vegetables and fruits from nearby houses and gardens. They put them in a pit meant for waste disposal. After some time, it decomposed and got converted to manure. Bujo and Paheli wanted to know how this had happened. Activity 2.5 Take two pots and fill each pot half with soil. Mark them A and B. Put plant waste in pot A and things like polythene bags, empty glass bottles and broken plastic toys in pot B. Put the pots aside. Observe them after three to four weeks. Do you find any difference in the contents of the two pots? If so, what is the difference? You will find that plant waste in pot A has been decomposed. How did this happen? The plant waste has been converted into manure by the action of microbes.
the nutrients released in the process can be used by the plants again. Did you notice that in pot B, the polythene bags, empty glasses, bottles and broken toy parts did not undergo any such change? The microbes could not act on them and convert them into manure. You often see large amounts of dead organic matter in the form of decaying plants and sometimes dead animals on the ground. You find that they disappear after some time. This is because the microorganisms decompose dead organic waste of plants and animals, converting them into simple substances. These substances are again used by other plants and animals. Thus, microorganisms can be used to degrade the harmful and smelly substances and thereby clean up the environment. 2.4 Harmful Microorganisms Microorganisms are harmful in many ways. Some of the microorganisms cause diseases in human beings, plants and animals. Page 23 Such disease-causing microorganisms are called pathogens. Some microorganisms spoil food, clothing and leather. Let us study more about their harmful activities. Disease-causing microorganisms in humans Pathogens enter our body through the air we breathe, the water we drink or the food we eat. They can also get transmitted by direct contact with an infected person or carried by an animal. Microbial diseases that can spread from an infected person to a healthy person through air, water, food or physical contact are called communicable diseases. Examples of such diseases include cholera, common cold, chickenpox and tuberculosis. When a person suffering from common cold sneezes, fine droplets of moisture carrying thousands of viruses are spread in the air. The virus may enter the body of a healthy person while breathing and cause infection. Bujo becomes concerned and asks, then how do you prevent the spread of communicable diseases? Paheli answers, We should keep a handkerchief on the nose and mouth while sneezing. It is better to keep a distance from infected persons. There are some insects and animals which act as carriers of disease-causing microbes. Housefly is one such carrier. The flies sit on the garbage and animal excreta. Pathogens stick to their bodies. When these flies sit on uncovered food, they may transfer the pathogens. Whoever eats the contaminated food is likely to get sick. So, it is advisable to always keep food covered. Avoid consuming uncovered items of food. Another example of a carrier is the female Anopheles mosquito, as shown in figure 2.8, which carries the parasite of malaria. Plasmodium. Female Aedes mosquito acts as carrier of dengue virus. How can we control the spread of malaria or dengue? Figure 2.8 shows a female Anopheles mosquito. Paheli asks, Why does the teacher keep telling us not to let water collect anywhere in the neighborhood? All mosquitoes breed in water. Hence, one should not let water collect anywhere in coolers, tires, flower pot, etc. By keeping the surroundings clean and dry, we can prevent mosquitoes from breeding. Try to make a list of measures which help to avoid the spread of malaria. Page 24 Table 2.1 Some common human diseases caused by microorganisms Human disease, tuberculosis, causative microorganism, bacteria Mode of transmission, air. Human disease, measles. Causative microorganism, virus. Mode of transmission, air. Human disease, chickenpox. Causative microorganism, virus. Mode of transmission, air or contact. Human disease, polio. Causative microorganism, virus. Mode of transmission, air or water.
preventive measures general for all these diseases. Keep the patient in complete isolation. Keep the personal belongings of the patient away from those of the others. Vaccination to be given at suitable age. Now, second set of human disease. Cholera. Causative microorganism, bacteria. Mode of transmission, water or food. Typhoid. Causative microorganism, bacteria. Mode of transmission, water. Preventive measures general for both diseases. Maintain personal hygiene and good sanitary habits. Consume properly cooked food and boiled drinking water. Vaccination. Human disease, hepatitis A. Causative microorganism, virus. Mode of transmission, water. Preventive measures general. Drink boiled drinking water. Vaccination. Human disease, malaria. Causative microorganism, protozoa. Mode of transmission, mosquito. Use mosquito net and repellents. Spray insecticides and control breeding of mosquitoes by not allowing water to collect in the surroundings. Some of the common diseases affecting humans, their mode of transmission and few general methods of prevention have been discussed in Table 2.1. Disease-causing microorganisms in animals Several microorganisms not only cause diseases in humans and plants, but also in other animals. For example, anthrax is a dangerous human and cattle disease caused by a bacterium. Foot and mouth disease of cattle is caused by a virus. Robert Koch, 1876 discovered the bacterium Bacillus anthracis, which causes anthrax disease, disease-causing microorganisms in plants. Several microorganisms cause diseases in plants like wheat, rice, potato, sugarcane, orange, apple and others. The diseases reduce the yield of crops. We will cover some such plant diseases in Table 2.2. Page 25. They can be controlled by the use of certain chemicals which kill the microbes. Table 2.2. Some common plant diseases caused by microorganisms. Plant disease, citrus canker, microorganism, bacteria. Mode of transmission, air. Plant disease, rust of wheat, microorganism, fungi. Mode of transmission, air. Seeds, plant disease, yellow vein, mosaic of bindi okra, microorganism, virus, mode of transmission, insect, food poisoning. Bujo was invited by his friend to a party and he ate a variety of food stuff. On reaching home, he started vomiting and had to be taken to a hospital. The doctor said that this condition could be due to food poisoning. Or Haley wonders how food can become a poison. Food poisoning could be due to the consumption of food spoiled by some microorganisms. Microorganisms that grow on our food sometimes produce toxic substances. These make the food poisonous, causing serious illness and even death. So, it is very important that we preserve food to prevent it from being spoiled. 2.5 Food Preservation In Chapter 1, we have learnt about the methods used to preserve and store food grains. How do we preserve cooked food at home? You know that bread left unused under moist conditions is attacked by fungus. Microorganisms spoil our food. Spoiled food emits bad smell and has a bad taste and changed colour. Is spoiling of food a chemical reaction? Pahali bought some mangoes but she could not eat them for a few days. Later she found that they were spoiled and rotten. But she knows that the mango pickle her grandmother makes does not spoil for a long time. She is confused. Page 26
Let us study the common methods of preserving food in our homes. We have to save it from the attack of microorganisms. Chemical method Salts and edible oils are the common chemicals generally used to check the growth of microorganisms. Therefore, they are called preservatives. We add salt or acid preservatives to pickles to prevent the attack of microbes. Sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite are common preservatives. These are also used in jams and squashes to check their spoilage. Preservation by common salt Common salt has been used to preserve meat and fish for ages. Meat and fish are covered with dry salt to check the growth of bacteria. Salting is also used to preserve amla, raw mangoes, tamarind, etc. Preservation by sugar Jams, jellies and squashes are preserved by sugar. Sugar reduces the moisture content which inhibits the growth of bacteria which spoil food. Preservation by oil and vinegar Use of oil and vinegar prevents spoilage of pickles because bacteria cannot live in such an environment. Vegetables, fruits, fish and meat are often preserved by this method. Heat and cold treatments You must have observed your mother boiling milk before it is stored or used. Boiling kills many microorganisms. Similarly, we keep our food in the refrigerator. Low temperature inhibits the growth of microbes. Bujo has a question. Why does the milk that comes in packets not spoil? My mother told me that the milk is pasteurized. What is pasteurization? Pasteurized milk can be consumed without boiling as it is free from harmful microbes. The milk is heated to about 70 degrees Celsius for 15 to 30 seconds and then suddenly chilled and stored. By doing so, it prevents the growth of microbes. This process was discovered by Louis Pasteur. It is called pasteurization. Storage and Packing These days, dry fruits and even vegetables are sold in sealed airtight packets to prevent the attack of microbes. 2.6 Nitrogen Fixation You have learnt about the bacterium rhizobium in class 6 and 7. It is involved in the fixation of nitrogen in leguminous plants, pulses. Recall that rhizobium lives in the root nodules of leguminous plants, as shown in figure 2.9, such as beans and peas, with which it has a symbiotic relationship. Sometimes, nitrogen gets fixed through the action of lightning. But you know that the amount of nitrogen in the atmosphere remains constant? You may wonder how. Let us understand this in the next section. Page 27 Figure 2.9 shows roots of a leguminous plant with root nodules. 2.7 Nitrogen Cycle Our atmosphere has 78% nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is one of the essential constituents of all living organisms as part of proteins, chlorophyll, nucleic acids and vitamins. The atmospheric nitrogen cannot be taken directly by plants and animals. Certain bacteria and blue-green algae present in the soil fix nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert it into compounds of nitrogen. Once nitrogen is converted into these usable compounds, it can be utilized by plants from the soil through their root system. Nitrogen is then used for the synthesis of plant proteins and other compounds. Animals feeding on plants get these proteins and other nitrogen compounds, as shown in figure 2.10. When plants and animals die, bacteria and fungi present in the soil convert the nitrogenous wastes into nitrogenous compounds to be used by plants again. Certain other bacteria convert some part of them to nitrogen gas, which goes back into the atmosphere. 
As a result, the percentage of nitrogen in the atmosphere remains more or less constant. Figure 2.10 shows a nitrogen cycle. To begin with, we have atmospheric nitrogen. Then nitrogen fixing bacteria fix atmospheric nitrogen. Bacteria in turn fix nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds. Then compounds of nitrogen in the soil. The bacteria turn compounds of nitrogen into gaseous nitrogen, which in turn becomes atmospheric nitrogen. In the second scenario, we have atmospheric nitrogen, which is converted to lightning, which turns to compounds of nitrogen in the soil. Then the plants uptake it, animals eat these plants, and then from their excretion and death, we get nitrogenous waste which is turned to compounds of nitrogen in the soil. Page 28 Keywords Algae Antibiotics Antibodies Bacteria Carrier Communicable diseases Fermentation Fungi Lactobacillus Microorganism Nitrogen cycle Nitrogen fixation Pasteurization, pathogen, preservation, protozoa, rhizobium, vaccine, virus, yeast. What you have learnt. Microorganisms are too small and are not visible to the unaided eye. They can live in all kinds of environment, ranging from ice cold climate to hot springs and deserts to marshy lands. Microorganisms are found in air, water and in the bodies of plants and animals. They may be unicellular or multicellular. Microorganisms include bacteria, fungi, protozoa and some algae. Viruses, though different from the above mentioned living organisms, are considered microbes. Viruses are quite different from other microorganisms. They reproduce only inside the host organism, bacterium, plant or animal cell. Some microorganisms are useful for commercial production of medicines and alcohol. Some microorganisms decompose the organic waste and dead plants and animals into simple substances and clean up the environment. Protozoans cause serious diseases like dysentery and malaria. Some of the microorganisms grow on our food and cause food poisoning. Some microorganisms reside in the root nodules of leguminous plants. They can fix nitrogen from air into soil and increase the soil fertility. Some bacteria present in the soil fix nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert into nitrogenous compounds. Certain bacteria convert compounds of nitrogen present in the soil into nitrogen gas, which is released to the atmosphere. Page 29 Exercises 1. Fill in the blanks A. Microorganisms can be seen with the help of a blank B. Blue-green algae fix blank directly from air and enhance fertility of soil. C. Alcohol is produced with the help of blank. D. Cholera is caused by blank. 2. Take the correct answer. A. Yeast is used in the production of 1. Sugar 2. Alcohol 3. Hydrochloric acid or oxygen. B. The following is an antibiotic. 1. Sodium bicarbonate. 2. Streptomycin. 3. Alcohol. 4. Yeast. C. Carrier of malaria causing protozoan is 1. Female Anopheles mosquito. 2. Cockroach. 3. 
housefly for butterfly. D. The most common carrier of communicable diseases is 1. Ant 2. Housefly 3. Dragonfly 4. Spider E. The bread or idli dough rises because of 1. Heat 2. Grinding 3. Growth of yeast cells 4. Kneading F. The process of conversion of sugar into alcohol is called 1. Nitrogen fixation 2. Molding 3. Fermentation 4. Infection 3. Match the organisms in column A with their action in column B. Column A 1. Bacteria 2. Rhizobium 3. Lactobacillus 4. Yeast 5. A protozoan 6. A virus Column B A. Fixing nitrogen B. Setting of curd C. Baking of bread D. Causing malaria E. Causing cholera F. Causing AIDS G. Producing antibodies 4. Can microorganisms be seen with the naked eye? If not, how can they be seen? Page 30 5. What are the major groups of microorganisms? 6. Name the microorganisms which can fix atmospheric nitrogen in the soil. 7. Write 10 lines on the usefulness of microorganisms in our lives. 8. Write a short paragraph on the harmful effects of microorganisms. 9. What are antibiotics? What precautions must be taken while taking antibiotics? Extended Learning Activities and Projects 1. Pull out a gram or bean plant from the field. Observe its roots. You will find round structures called root nodules on the roots. Draw a diagram of the root and show the root nodules. 2. Collect the labels from the bottles of jams and jellies. Write down the list of contents printed on the labels. 3. Visit a doctor. Find out why antibiotics should not be overused. Prepare a short report. 4. Project Requirements 2 test tubes, marker pen, sugar, yeast powder, 2 balloons and lime water. Take two test tubes and mark them A and B. Clamp these tubes in a stand and fill them with water, leaving some space at the top. Put two spoonfuls of sugar in each of the test tubes. Add a spoonful of yeast in test tube B. Inflate the two balloons incompletely. Now, tie the balloons on the mouths of each test tube. Keep them in a warm place away from sunlight. Watch the setup every day for next 3-4 days. Record your observations and think of an explanation. Now, take another test tube filled one fourth with lime water. Remove the balloon from test tube B in such a manner that gas inside the balloon does not escape. Fit the balloon on the test tube and shake well. Observe and explain. Page 31 Did you know? Bacteria have lived on the earth for much longer than human beings. They are such hardy organisms that they can live under extreme conditions. They have been found living in boiling mud pots and extremely cold icy waters. They have been found in lakes of caustic soda and in pools of concentrated sulfuric acid. They can survive at depths of several kilometers. They probably can survive in space too. A kind of bacterium was recovered from a camera which stood on the moon for two years. There is probably no environment in which bacteria cannot survive. Chapter 2 
microorganisms friend and foe ends here narrator neeraj yadav you were just listening to this audio book technical control bati langlingdo technical assistance vikas sangwan assistance in production jagbandhu jana direction and production vandana arimardan This audiobook is brought to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India